Hello, dear Russian Whips viewers. It's Andre from Russian Whips again. And today I want just to make a quick uh, movie about how to prepare a Russian fireweed chai, Ivan chai, uh, fermented fireweed tea. Uh, I had I had a question recently. Uh, Andre, how you prepare this tea? I mean, do you use a French press or a tea port or something else? And uh, well, actually, there are lots of ways to prepare this tea. And uh, last time I showed you my favorite, which is uh, put it in a thermal, uh, you know, flask and uh, let it stay overnight. But uh, there is a really easy way to prepare it, and I want to demonstrate it to you now. So I take um, some of the freshly made fermented fireweed tea and put it directly into a cup like this. So I have to do it all, all by myself, you know, telephone in one hand and uh, cup in the other hand. So I pour, I put some, some tea in the pot or in the cup and then pour some hot water into this same cup and then I take a saucer well by the way it's uh, the tea and uh, it's it's fresh it's fermented and that's why it's it's uh, it gives you a brown brown look like uh, a brown color I just want to show you how the actual fermented large leaf firewood tea looks like okay so this is how it looks like and um, that's what you get if you order some fire loose fireweed tea from me okay but I wanted to show you how to brew a tea so I just put the saucer on top of the cup and let it stay for five minutes or maybe ten minutes or maybe longer I mean uh, it depends on uh, how a brood you want uh, your tea uh, to be black to be you know medium to be just um, you know light brew uh, as for me I prefer a strong brew and uh, so it would uh, take a uh, couple more minutes to brew but that's the easiest way to brew Russian fireweed Ivan Chai and uh, you can use this way to brew the regular tea as well and I've done that for for many many years I mean it's just the quickest and easiest way then if you don't want to you know some tea leaves floating in your tea you can skim it or sift it through as uh, through a sift or just pour it carefully into another cup the thing about Ivan tea though is that the plant is so good uh, you can actually eat the leaves and uh, they have health benefit and I mean they're not uh, like that they're tasty I mean you eat them and there's no big deal so I just let it float in my tea and uh, eat the whole thing or eat some leaves that get <laughs> into my mouth with the water with the tea but again you can sift it you can skim it you can pour it into another cup anyway uh, then you can add uh, some lemon or some ginger or some sugar or you can drink it without sugar uh, this tea contains no caffeine but uh, contains a lot of other good stuff like uh, tannin like beta carotene like vitamins this is all good stuff your organism needs um, your organs needs your, your system needs that they don't get it enough of that from regular junk food we get from the supermarket so this tea is really healthy and what's the best about it it tastes great so I let you experiment now with your home tea and uh, to order tea from me you can uh, look in the comments uh, below or visit my Etsy store Russian whips recently I opened another store which is called Russian of Ivan Chai I will also give a link to that so if you have any questions feel free to contact me and stay blessed and bye bye